morning YouTube purchased a ring video doorbell pro uh, there's a problem with these uh, doorbells that they don't run on the UK 8 volt supply the ring supplies you with a 24 volt transformer to allow it to work but it, you can't use him with your existing doorbell well I think I've solved the problem uh, as you can see here I have a Bryon 7 176 doorbell running on 8 volt and I have it to I've got it to work I'll just show you here's my uh, ring doorbell pro as you can see you can see it's working and how I come across it was I used to be an electrician uh, many years ago and uh, thought stick back to basic again this is the ring transformer they issue with it's 24 volt but as you look at it it has an 8 to 24 volt variation so you can see where it says one to two, it will give you between eight to 12 volt, and then one to three will give you 15 volt, and one to four will give you 24 volt. So what did I do? I just wired my mains into my doorbell, uh, doorbell uh, transformer, out of the transformer I went from 1 and 15 I do know that the doorbell they say it should be 16 volt but as it being an electrician in the UK you're supposed to have 240 volt but it fluctuates between 220 to 250 so when I tested between the two terminals between 1 and 3 I was getting 15 to 16 volts so which is perfect for the ring pro doorbell and there is my um, let's take this cover off as you see I haven't put the mains into this transform which is 8 volt so all I have done is Let's get my screwdriver. All I have done is brought my mains into the bottom And then between terminal one and terminal three, I took back to my doorbell, but not into the transformer, but into the bottom connections of the solenoid, as you can see here, one in, and then one at the bottom here, And here you can see uh, it goes from here and here which is the pair which goes back to the doorbell so all you need to do is come from connections one and three with the transformer which is provided with from ring don't connect it into the transformer connect it to where the solenoid comes in I don't know if you can see 
you can see where there's a little cable here and then the solenoid connection comes back out that will give you your uh, ring doorbell pro uh, the correct voltage because when I tested between volt between one and three my meter was telling me I was getting between 15 and 16 volt it was fluctuating so as I was uh, looking online and reading and they recommend that when you go to your app uh, on your phone and let's get it up on this phone so when you look on the phone you will where it says health device they recommend you should have between 3,900 millivolts to 4,300 but as you can see even with a 15 volt output of the standard ring transformer I'm in that bracket so it works perfectly ring recommend you to put it between 1 and 4 which is 24 volts but to be honest, when I put it through my meter, I was getting 27 volts. So that's way above the recommended Ring Pro um, device. So as I've been YouTubing it and scratching my head and thought, I'll post this video to help everybody out that I have proven that it works. So I will prove it again. As you can see. You can see it all works perfectly fine. So if you have any questions, you can leave some comments. I thought I'd make this video to help people out. It might also help people with the Nest uh, doorbell as well. But to be honest, um, like I said, this is an 8 volt um, doorbell working on a 15 volt output and it's ringing my normal UK uh, doorbell so thought I thought I help people out and here's my video if anybody gets stuck just ask me any questions again <laughs>